This problem asks us to factor the GCF out of the polynomial 12 AB squared C plus 16 A squared B. Okay, so what does this mean? So remember GCF is our abbreviation for greatest common factor. So we have um, these two monomials here. We want to find the greatest common factor of them and factor it out of the polynomial. We want the biggest piece that divides both parts evenly and we want to pull it out using the distributive property. So the first step, let's find the GCF. Okay, and the way we've been doing this is we, we make a table with all the factors. Okay, all the prime factors, let's go with that. So 12 a b squared c, we're gonna list its prime factors, we're gonna list the prime factors of 16 a squared b. All right, so 12, remember, if we, if we factor 12, we can write it as three times four, and four is two times two. Those are the three, two, and two, those are the prime factors. So two, two, and three. Actually, let me a little extra space there. So two, two times two times three times three is twelve, and then we've got a, and then b squared. So b times b, and a c there. These are all the primes that go into twelve a b squared c. All right, and we do the same thing for sixteen. So sixteen is eight times two. Or actually, let's do a four times four. But neither, but four isn't prime, so we split that again. Two times two, and then two times two. So two, 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 two. Those are the primes that go into 16. Four twos. And then um, we've got our a squared, so a times a, and then a b. That's 16 a squared b, if you multiply all these pieces together. And so the GCF, we look for the common factors. We've got pair of twos, another pair of twos. We've got a pair of A's and a pair of B's. But none of the rest are in common. So the greatest common factor here is two times two times A times B. Or if we multiply that out, four AB. All right, so that's the first step. We've got the GCF of both terms in our polynomial. The next step, we're gonna divide the first term, 12ab squared c, by the GCF. And so if we take, uh, if we take 12ab squared c and divide by 4ab, what's gonna happen? So 12 divided by four is three. The a's cancel, and one of the b's is gonna cancel. So we're gonna have one B left because there's two in the top and a C. All right, so three BC, that's what we get when we divide the first term by the GCF. If you multiply three BC times four AB, you get 12 AB squared C. Step three, we do the same thing, but with the next term, 16 A squared B. We divide that by the GCF, greatest common factor, and we find, so 16 A squared B, over 4ab. So again, 16 divided by 4 is 4. a squared divided by a, that leaves 1a. And b divided by b is just 1. So we only have 4a left here. Okay? And so what this means is if we put it all together, we can factor out the GCF. So it'll be 4ab, that's what our GCF was, times the first term when we pull out this 4ab, we have 3bc left. And when we pull the 4ab out of 16a squared b, we have 4a left. So this first term, we pull that GCF out, we have 3bc. The second term, we pull it out, we have 4a. We multiply it using the distributive property, we get our original polynomial back.